What I'm about to say in the story almost destroyed my life forever. It all started last year in December of 2022. I met a young woman on Instagram. Her name was Dora. We started chatting with one another, and her profile picture was beautiful. She told me she was looking for a relationship, and she asked if I was single. I told her I was married, and I was looking for friends to chat with. She was okay with this and asked if I had Telegram. I told her no, and she asked me to download it so we can chat easier. I went ahead and did so. We began chatting there, and she sent me a couple of pictures of her, but it was mostly naughty pictures, and I sent her some of myself, but just normal pictures. We continued chatting on Telegram. My wife and I started to have problems. One night, my wife and I got into an argument over something, and she stormed into the bedroom and slammed her door, and she had no clue I was talking to Dora. So Dora and I continued chatting for about a week, and one day she asked me if I could get her a $50 Steam gift card for Christmas. I told her I could see what I could do, as money was a little tight. She understood, and she started to develop feelings for me, and texted me that she loved me and wanted to be with me. I didn't know to think. It was all moving fast for me. And one night she asked me, if I could send her a couple of nude photos of myself. I couldn't do it at first, but I started to feel loved by this woman, so I sent a video of myself getting undressed and gave her a little entertainment. She sent naked videos of herself, but just her body, not her face. After that, I took a shower and went to bed. The next day, I went to work, and while I was on break, I started feeling guilty for what I did the night before. So I went on Telegram and ended up blocking her, and later that afternoon when I got off work, I checked my phone, and what I saw shocked me. I received a message on Telegram from a woman I didn't know, and it was a message along with the video she had of me, and told me that if I didn't unblock her within the next 24 hours, she was going to release the video to all of my friends and family, including my boss and co-workers. Now looking back, I never gave out where I worked or my social media like my Facebook and everything, but at the time I was terrified and wasn't thinking clearly, so in a panic I hopped in my car, drove home like a madman. I called my wife and ended up telling her what happened and showed her the message, including the video of myself. She urged me to delete my Telegram account and delete the app. I did so. My wife and I talked and we eventually made up for the argument we had earlier and we're now on good terms. Well, days went by and nothing really came of what happened. I heard nothing back from Dora or the other woman. I learned a good lesson from what I did and owned up to it too. So the moral of the story is don't do things on camera that you're not comfortable with unless you met the person first in real life. And if they try to blackmail you into sending them money, don't do it, because they'll just come back and ask for more. Just block them, and that's my story. Story 2 Hi, I would like to send you my experience with a cryptocurrency scammer. It happened in 2020 during the COVID pandemic when I was contacted by an unknown guy on Facebook. As a member of many Facebook groups, I posted a comment on one of them when shortly after I got a reply from a guy named William, saying that he totally agreed with what I wrote. He also added that if I'm interested in making a fortune with Bitcoin, we should connect privately. I had a previous not-so-good experience with BitConnect, where I lost about $400 invested in the popular Bitcoin Ponzi scheme, but knowing that Bitcoin is on the rise again, I thought, why not, and see where it goes. William sent me a friend request and we started chatting privately about his platform which he said has made him a millionaire. He mentioned how fast he got rich by trading Bitcoin and showed me some of the statements on his trades. The platform was called Fox Trader FX and had a nicely done website where you can see your investments grow fast. After some hesitation, I decided to try first with a small amount of $100. 
The platform was giving 30% return on small investments, 40% on middle-sized ones, and 50% on bigger investments. I got my earned interest of 30% in a few days, and I was so happy. I added more funds and reinvested the earned interest, and I was going for compound interest. After tripling the original amount, I sent a request to withdraw some money, which to my surprise went well. I got back about half of the money in my account, and then the next step was to invest more so that I can withdraw more. William was carefully following my activity and giving me pieces of advice. I invested again, this time about $1,400, so that in a week they would become 40% more. That really happened, at least on the platform's panel, and as usual, I reinvested it with the earned interest. When the amount came up to about $3,000, I wanted to withdraw again the bigger part of it and leave a small amount for acquiring interest. Although William was pushing me to invest more, my decision to withdraw was firm, and I sent a withdrawal request. The answer from the company was that I can't withdraw that amount if I don't pay special fees for unlocking a private key. The fee was $700. I didn't agree with that and continued reinvesting the compound interest until a week or two my account counted around $5,000. Then I tried to withdraw again, sending a request for $4,000. The answer was the same. I had to pay for the unlocking fee. I didn't agree with that, and after exchanging many emails and calls through WhatsApp, it was clear to me that something is wrong. I googled the unlocking fees for Bitcoin investments, and there wasn't any word on them except for being used as a scammer's tactics. After a few months of exchanging long emails and arguments, I disconnected any contact with the company, although kept my Facebook friendship with William. After five to six months, I got a message from Fox Trade FX that they will grant me Bitcoin in a value of $40,000 with only one condition, to pay the unlocking fee of $700. The excitement was so high when I saw the $40,000 showing in my crypto wallet, but when I tried to transfer them to my account, it didn't work. I was given an option that I can get the money only if I paid the fees. Although at moments it was tempting to pay those $700 and withdraw the money, I stood firm and didn't fall for that. In my mind it was clear that it was a scam and William and Fox Trade FX are just scammers who use naive people to rob them. Shortly after I disconnected all communication with William and his company, the $40,000 disappeared from my crypto wallet. I blocked William on Facebook and also blocked all the emails from Fox Trade FX. After a while, knowing that the scammers are connected and keep the info of their victims, I started being contacted by many people who openly contacted me on Facebook. And I must say, I was shortly fell for one more scam. This time it was a combined romance crypto scam. I don't know how, but a nice looking blonde lady proposed to me to do a crypto investing, saying that she can recover any of my previous crypto losses. She was very consistent and addressed me with a nice and gentle words. I thought maybe she is real and sent her an initial amount of about $900 so that she doubles it in two weeks. The platform was really professionally done and it showed how the investments grew. Still, as I told her at the beginning, my condition is to withdraw the money after the interest is acquired. I asked for a withdrawal after two weeks. Then the same thing happened. She was very sorry, but her boss was requiring a special fee of a few hundred dollars or tax to be paid in order to withdraw the money. After this, I realized I was scammed again. I blocked her on Facebook and I never checked her website again. She was trying to contact me through other people, obviously fellow scammers, but I was blocking all the friend requests and messages from unknown people. That's how I got rid of all the scammers, and after falling victim to a little less than $3,000, I stopped myself from being scammed again. I still have occasional replies to my Facebook comment or a message from an unknown person on Facebook, 
but I never answer them and block everyone whom I don't personally know. I do the same for phone call scams, LinkedIn scams, and every other scamming place so that I never get scammed again. We'd like to thank these two people for sharing their stories. Unfortunately, cryptocurrency scams are on the rise and people are falling for very well-made websites by scammers who pretend to be cryptocurrency traders. If you've been scammed and you'd like to share your story, you can find us, scammingscammers, at gmail.com. Drop us an email if you have any screenshots, chats, or information on the scam. We'd love to take a look at that and verify it as well. We will narrate your encounter into a video. Until next time, stay safe.